Good morning guys, welcome to my fully dedicated video to a morning routine. This is kind of like my spring summer morning routine. It's hard to say which one because it's summer for some people. If you're in college or in high school, you know, you're pretty much it's summer for you. But for me, I still kind of consider it spring because I work full time. So to me, the summer starts really pretty much in June. So. I'm just gonna call this my spring summer morning routine because they're pretty much the same anyway so anyway so the first thing I always do is I wake up I get my coffee and my water normally I read my Bible first before I do anything other than like get my coffee and water today though I got my coffee and water and then I made a to-do list because it was like running through my mind and I didn't want to forget anything so now I'm gonna read my Bible I always read it on the Bible app and then normally I'll just pick like, I'll read like the verse of the day. Oh, this girl's cute. She looks young, I don't know who that is. And I watch like their story. Like you can click on the story and watch it. And then like somebody will like share the verse of the day, which today it's, for the kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. There's no regret for that kind of sorrow, but worldly sorrow, which lacks repentance, results in spiritual death. I need to, get some context on that um but that's second corinthians seven ten. i don't know if i didn't know that verse very well anyway so that's what i'm gonna do now and then i normally journal while i drink my coffee and then i watch youtube videos so it's pretty it's pretty much always been that way i mean not even seasonally it's just like always that way so They chose to receive his correction and let it draw them closer to their savior. They were filled with grief and with sorrow over their sin and not just the consequences of their sin. You see that godly sorrow, it leads us to repentance, to lament, to remorse that we have gone against the heart of our father. And yet at the same time, we know that he is standing there with open arms, ready to welcome us home. So one thing I've been trying to do in the morning is reading a book. Right now I'm reading Woman Evolve by Sarah Jakes Roberts and it's about, it's a book all about Eve, like Adam and Eve and it's really good and her perspective on Eve is like so interesting. I've never thought about Eve as somebody that I like. I always thought about as someone that I just don't understand because I'm like, how can one person change all of humanity like literally everybody even her husband like she did not think that through like so it's really interesting to read and just learn about her and probably how she was feeling and her human perspective you know because she was a human and uh it's just really good so i definitely recommend woman evolve by sarah jakes roberts and she really does a good job of relating Eve to women today and how we are so much like Eve and how she's actually an amazing individual and I think that's really cool so I would definitely check that out. I really like Sarah Jakes Roberts. I've listened to her podcast too, only one episode and her husband was on it and I just thought his perspective on a couple things was also extremely interesting so um, check out her podcast and her book. I'll link them below so you guys can check them out. That way you don't have to like go searching for it. <laughs> I think my stupid lamp is unplugged. making my bed I feel like I need to go back to bed I have too many throw pillows I just got rid of like three of them okay so just finished picking up my room a little bit um, I still have a few things I need to do I have a basket of laundry to fold 
again and then I want to go to um, home goods today I think I'm gonna make a separate vlog for that um, and I want to get a container because I have all these dossier perfumes that they sent me sitting out this one is the Gorman and white flower this one smells so good I love it um, you guys should check it out I'll link it below and I also have a discount code I think it's Elizabeth D 10 I want to say so that way I can just like because I actually really like these I kind of like them better than most of my other perfumes because all of my fancy ones are like wintry scents and this is a great one for summer as well as for spring and summer as well as citrus green apple the Gorman and white flowers one is um, Victor and Ralph flower bomb and then this one is Dolce and Gabbana light blue so those are two really good ones um, the other ones I haven't really tried just yet because I don't feel like they're necessarily like summer and spring. I mean they are, but I just like those two. I feel like they specifically just give me spring and summer vibes. They're just awesome. I love them. So definitely check out Dossie. I didn't really intend to shout them out, but I do want to get an organizer for those perfumes um, so that I have, you know, a little bit more clean space to do my makeup and stuff. So other than that... I think I'm gonna post a reel and get my in-feed post ready for today because I just want to make sure I'm staying on top of my TikTok content and my Instagram content and I don't want to get caught up in too many other things before I get that ready um, which mostly it is ready because I already made like a rough draft of what my captions were gonna be and my hashtags and stuff like that side note before I do that I've drank a lot of water already I really like this water bottle the only thing is I wish it kept my water cold it's one of the Starbucks ones and I think my mom got this for me like a year or two ago so but they have great um, water bottles and coffee mugs so shout out to Starbucks too So the very last thing I'm going to do before I get a shower and start my day is a 35 minute yoga flow with Adrian. This one is for creativity or something. I don't know. What's it called? Oh wait, no. Oh god, my face looks so bad. What in the world? Why does my face look like this? I have like a horrible rash on my face. Oh my god. Sorry, that was distracting. Plus, this lighting's not helping. But anyway, it's a yoga morning fresh, 35 minute morning yoga flow. Yoga with Adrian. I'll link it below. Oh my gosh, I'm remembering doing this flow. This was a couple of days ago when I'm editing this versus when I recorded it. And I was so stiff. I couldn't even really reach my arms out much further in front of me because my shoulders were so tight and then my hips were tight so I had to like I don't know I, I was leaning forward and I actually fell forward right there and onto my forearms and then when I went to sit back up <laughs> I had to pull my legs out from under me because my hips were so stiff and I was like actually it made me kind of cranky yoga was supposed to help me but I mean, I know in the end it did, but normally it makes me feel better. Like if I'm cranky when I get on the mat, I'm not cranky when I'm done. And I think I was more cranky like in the middle of this, but that's okay. Um, I guess that's what happens when you don't do yoga for like a week or two. Um, yeah, your body really will just work against you. So, but we're a work in progress, right? Anyway, thanks guys for watching my morning routine. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you want to see like a night routine or more of my morning routines. 
I decided not to put you guys through watching any more of my yoga. So hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Adios.